What do you see? What do you see? What have you noticed? Any takers? Are there patterns? All square numbers. Yeah? I'm gonna I'm gonna draw a square. Okay? All square numbers have an odd number of where am I? Here. Have I missed any? Did I get them all? They all have an odd number of factors. Everything else, including the primes, have an even number of factors. Okay? That's kind of weird. Why would that be? Why is it that the squares only have an odd number of factors? Or maybe I should ask it the other way. Why do all those other numbers, why do they always seem to end up with an even number of factors? Because you need two numbers to add, like, multiply. Uh, yeah, yeah, very good. Square numbers only. What does it mean to be a factor? The opposite of a factor is a product, right? A product. A product is when you take two factors, two factors, and you multiply them together, and you always need two parts to it, right? So, for example, if you have a look at 24, 24 is the most obvious one, right? These numbers here are not just six random numbers. It's actually, sorry, eight random numbers. It's not eight random numbers. It's four pairs. Do you see it's four pairs? Look. In fact, I can climb down, and you can see, right? Pair, pair, one and 24. 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. They are paired up, right? So it's not just a coincidence that I have 8. I have two lots of 4. That's really what's going on. So that should answer for us why the squares have odd numbers of factors. Why is that? Because they're squares, right? There will always be one factor in the list, namely the square root, this guy, and where am I? This guy, where is he? This guy, and this guy, that pairs up with itself because he's like, forget you guys, right? I'm gonna play on my own, okay? So he doesn't need to pair with, it with another factor because he's his own pair, right? Now, hold on a second. You said the squares have um, odd numbers of factors. That's true, but one of the squares is different. Did you notice that? They've all got three factors except for one. Why does 16? Why does 16 not have three factors? Yeah? Because the 4 is 2 squared. Ah. Well, you have the square roots of these guys, right? This is the square root of 2. <coughs> this is the square root of 3. I'm going to skip that guy for a second. What's this the square root of? 5. five. 2, 3, 5. We already know that 2, 3, and 5 are important, don't we? Where are they important? They're, prime. They're the primes. 1, 2, 3. And of course, this guy is the square of a square, right? Or more specifically, this is the square of a composite number, okay? Um, that's what's useful to us. Because if you have a look, what's the next number going to be? The next square, I mean. It's going to be 36. Let's just skip a few, because 36 is interesting. Let's go to 36. What are the factors? Let's just do them all now together. One, two, two, three, two, three four, four, six, six, nine, 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 Okay. Okay. Now, just like with our other numbers, we notice that the factors are in pairs, except for the square root, right? So you go there, 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 and then you get to the middle. How many factors have we counted up? How many is that? That's nine. Nine factors, right? Definitely more than three, even more than five or seven, right? We skipped straight to nine, and that was just our next square, right? So why is it that six has more factors and 16 has more factors? Because they're not squares of primes, like these other guys are. Five, three, and two, okay? Now, can you see, right? All we've been doing is just looking at very simple, simple things. But this gives us a rabbit hole to go down. Okay? This is like, hmm, there's something going on here. It's a little bit like you're a hunter and you're looking for prey. Okay? And there's like a little, a little area over here which is like there's something sort of rustling in there. I'm going to go chase down this lead. Okay? I'm going to push on this. You've told me a lot about the square numbers. So, yeah? Is it, can have like 2 to the power of anything and that, that particular square number will have more factors than the rest of the I'm going to let you think about that. That's a great question. That is the kind of question, which is what it means to think deeply about a simple thing. Okay? I'm going to now ask you to, I'm going to give you some time. 
I'm going to pose this question to you now, right? We've noticed something about the um, squares and how many factors they are, but we haven't noticed anything about the rest of the numbers, okay? You told me they're even, but why is it that sometimes I get 4 and sometimes I get 6 or 8? Why do I get 4 sometimes? What is it that tells me the number of factors that a number is going to have? Is there a way I could have predicted that there would be 9 factors or 8? Or can I predict a number that might have, say, 12 factors? Is there something in here that can tell me that? Have a play. I've given you a lot of clues. See what you can work out.